Hey everyone, my name is Justin and welcome to my small workshop in my basement. This video is the second part of my Toothless Iron Man armor build series. And today we'll be tackling the thigh armor. So let's not waste any time and get right into the build. Before we start the build, here is the picture I'm using as my reference for the entire armor. To make the video shorter and not boring, I designed and cut out all the pieces of the thigh armor off camera. And what you see on screen is what I came up with. There's also a trim that goes all the way around the bottom of the piece. Now I'll disassemble everything to show you the pieces separately. Here are the six pieces that make up the thigh armor. Here is the exterior side piece. Its thickness is 8mm and it only has straight cuts. This is the interior side piece. It's a bit thinner at 6mm thick and it also only has straight cuts. Here's the back piece. It's 8mm thick. The top and bottom have straight cuts but the sides have inward angle cuts. Here's the upper front piece. It's also 8mm thick and it has inward angle cuts all the way around but on the bottom which is a straight cut. Here is the lower front piece. It's 8mm thick and has inward angle cuts on the top and the two sides but the bottom cut is straight. The final piece is the trim that goes all the way around the bottom. It's 12mm thick and it only has straight cuts. Now it's time to take every single piece, flip it, trace it down on the according thickness of foam, and then cut it out. This will of course ensure I have two sets of pieces, which of course I'll have one mirrored, and this will make sure I have one set for each leg. Now that all of my pieces are cut out, I take the two outside thigh pieces and I trace two lines in the middle. And then I cut out on the lines, which will give me two big pieces and one long strip of foam. After that, I add contact cement to every piece I cut out and glue the strip back to the other pieces but on a lower level. This is a simple but effective way to add detail to your armors. Now I'll use the same technique on the interior side pieces, but I'll cut out a wider piece of foam. And this is what they look like. For the lower front pieces, I cut out a weirdly shaped piece of 1mm foam which I'll glue to the front of the lower front pieces. And I'll glue them down using super glue. And here is how those pieces look. Now it's time to take out the heat gun and heat up the pieces to form them into their final shape. It's now time to assemble all the pieces together. The glue I'm using is contact cement. For the ones who don't know, the way contact cement works is you apply some to both of the pieces you want to stick together, then you wait until it's not wet anymore but still tacky, and then you press the two pieces together and they bond instantly. When the assembly was completed, I used a Dremel to sand the edges around, and then I used the modeling paste to fill the seams. Doing this will make sure everything is a lot smoother and cleaner once you add paint. Now that the base assembly is all finished, I want to add details on the bottom of the tie pieces. I use the inside of a duct tape roll to trace out 4 circles in 8mm thick foam. Then I use a sharpened PVC pipe to cut out a smaller circle in those bigger circles. After that I cut out those bigger circles using an X-Acto knife.
and then I use a Dremel to sand the edges around. And finally, I use hot glue to glue back the smaller circles and the bigger circles. To attach the circle parts to the thigh armor, I have to trace and cut out a spot for them. Once this is completed, I can use hot glue to just glue them down in their spot. And this part of the armor is completed. So this is the final result. And I think that without being a perfect replica of an Iron Man thigh armor, it gives the look and feel of Iron Man. So this is the end of the video, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed you can leave a like and subscribe to my channel for more. In the next part of the series we are gonna make the jackstrap and corset piece of the armor. I'll see you then, bye!